All right, guys, welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, new day here on Boost MV channel. Um, I did get that water pump taken care of, cleaned out. Uh, I've already got it back on here. What I did is just went to the local hardware store and just got a plug there, plugged that off, drilled a new hole here. Uh, I've got this on here, but where I want it to run is going to end up being right there into these vents so i think what i'm going to do is just pick up uh a 90 uh 4an to mpt and that way i can just angle it straight through here and come back to this port here so um but that should be completely out of the way of the intake and everything like i said i did have the water pump completely off cleaned out all the shavings inside from tapping that tapping that and tapping the ports here for the the heater core so uh just getting the accessories back on i've got the power steering on i just need to put the pulleys on here and then get the belt back on so i'm gonna do that real quick and then as soon as i'm done i did make some headway yesterday with the truck manifolds they are going to work a heck of a lot better so i uh, still got a little trimming on this i'm going to just kind of angle it up this way and then it should come straight out here i can put the v-band here and then i can drop it off there this one here pretty much the same thing i got to cut it up a little bit higher and then i'll just bring that straight out through here Put the v-band v here and then i'll be able to kick it down where i need to go with that so i'm going to be working on those today try and get them chopped up where i need them get some of the piping cut up where i need it and start getting it uh ticked up so um depending on how far i make it with that i also have some bongs that i purchased that i'm gonna drill some holes in in each manifold definitely gonna put one right here it's easiest spot uh, over here I'm not certain yet but I'll probably just drill right here and get a bong right there so I am gonna be trying out some AC TIG so we'll uh, we'll see how much we can screw that up it'll be fun so uh, get these these uh, pulleys on real quick get the belt on and then I'll carry on with the exhaust manifolds. So I'll be right, All right back. All right, guys, uh, got the accessories back on here. I'll bolt it back up. Everything's looking good there. And uh, I have been plugging away on this exhaust manifold. Uh, as you can see, I kind of have it notched there. Uh, and then this piece here. We'll go on here so what i'm gonna do right now is i'm actually gonna tack that on uh so that i can get a good pattern from this and then i'll break the tacks and uh hole saw that out and then kind of dremel it to fit so i can get a really good fit on that and then i'm gonna go ahead and get it all tacked up I've already kind of pre-fitted it to pre-fit it, not fitted, fit it to this side. Uh, with the angle that's on there, it comes really close to this coolant temp sense sensor. So I think once I get it all on there, I'm probably going to end up chopping it here and actually giving it a little slight bend away from that coolant temp sensor but that should put it right where i need it so uh got the welder rolled out here just got to set everything up get a couple tacks on this so i gotta clean this up just a little so i can actually get those tacks to sit and uh, then i'll be right back with you once i get it all tacked and get that outlined and then we'll get to cutting it all right guys uh back again uh as you can see got this tacked up uh, I got it marked around here where I'm going to cut it so I can weld that all together. There's a little bit of a gap, but I think I'm going to heat this up a little and see if I can get it to bend up into there. 
And then as you can see with that coolant temp sensor, it's uh, super close. But I'm going to end up cutting this down here and actually angling it so it goes straight out. So uh, it's a little funky, but I think it's going to do an awesome job. So uh, this runner looks straight, but it is actually curved into this pipe. It's got a nice little curve, so uh, it should should work out pretty good so i'm gonna uh i'm gonna get these these tacks cut so i can get this pipe back off i did uh once i got it tacked up i actually banged this and on the back side down at a place so it would match that groove right there uh so like i said i'm gonna cut these tacks get the pipe off i got a dremel i'm actually gonna drill a hole in the center with a, a step bit and then I'm going to take my Dremel, cut out what I need to cut out, and then that should line up perfectly. And then I'm going to get everything tacked up, get this chopped off, and then we'll uh, we'll be right back with you guys. All right, guys. Uh, got that all cut out. Uh, majority of this welded up. And back side of this, I got a good chunk welded up and then just a couple tacks. Decided to bolt it to the heads uh, which is aluminum to pull some of the heat out of it and Hopefully not warp this flange. So uh, Just doing a little piece at a time. I do have a pretty good gap back here <clears throat> That uh, I'm gonna have to I try to fill it with TIG wire uh, And we'll see what happens to fill a rod but I mean this thing's coming together great uh, one thing I wasn't paying attention to is that spark plug there but I think with cutting it back here and angling it this way a little bit and out I think it's gonna give me plenty of room for that spark plug so sorry for some reason my voice is <clears throat> all choppy um, I have to call it quits here for tonight my brother just got a brand new fifth wheel and was towing it back to his house and uh he's thinking he lost his tranny so i'm gonna go check him out make sure he's good see if we can get that trailer home but uh i'll be back at it tomorrow and hopefully i can get this complete here and the other side complete so hopefully you guys enjoyed this content uh if you did please like comment subscribe share with your friends um Help me out guys, um, I'm looking to build this. I wanna keep doing this and keep building content for you guys. And uh, I got some, some cool things up and coming. So hopefully hopefully you guys join, join in for the journey and uh, we'll see you next time. Have a great night.